You think helicopters fly faster just because the blades spin faster? Turns out, that's dead wrong. The main rotor spins at a constant speed, always. Whether it's taking off or landing, it doesn't speed up. So, how do they go up or down? Here's where the real magic kicks in, blade pitch. Each rotor blade tilts during flight. The steeper the tilt, the more lift it creates. Less tilt, less lift. And here's the key. When that lift becomes greater than the helicopter's own weight, boom, you're in the air. If it drops below the weight, you're going down. Still think faster spinning equals faster flying? Let's get weirder. As the blades spin, they actually try to twist the entire helicopter in the opposite direction. Imagine this. Your main rotor spins clockwise. Your chopper wants to spin counterclockwise. Unless you're into flying blenders, you're going to need something to fight that torque. That's where the tail rotor comes in. Small, loud, and totally underrated. It pushes sideways to cancel out that spin and keep your nose steady. But here's the plot twist. Those little tail blades, they're tilted about 20 degrees. Not just to steer, but also to help balance the heavy tail section. Yep, double duty. Now, what if you want to move forward, backward, or side to side? Nope, you're not hitting the gas. You're using the cyclic a joystick that tilts the entire rotor system. Want to climb? Use the collective, which changes the pitch of all blades equally. Want to rotate left or right? Step on the pedals and adjust the tail rotor. And if you want the helicopter to fly forward, you actually need to increase lift on the left blade, not the front. Why? Because of this weird physics rule called gyroscopic precession. Basically, whatever input you make takes effect 90 degrees later in the rotation. Crazy, right? So no, helicopters don't fly because they spin fast. They fly because someone figured out how to make spinning blades tilt, balance torque, and follow some truly mind-bending physics. All right, be honest, did that mess with your brain a little?